We will begin our study of the anatomy of the respiratory system by starting with the nasal cavity, since that is the first portion of the respiratory system that inhaled air encounters. This is a sagittal section of the head. Here we have the nasal cavity. And here we have the oral ca cavity. Here is the mouth with the lips. Notice that the oral cavity is separated from the nasal cavity by the hard palate, which is composed of bone. And then posterior to the hard palate is the soft palate, which is composed of glandular and muscular tissue. The portion of the soft palate that hangs down the middle of the throat is called the uvula. Air enters the nasal cavity through the nares or nostril. The nostril is basically the opening in the nose, the nose being the only portion of the respiratory system that is visible externally. The nasal cavity is lined with mucosa. Mucosa, as the name implies, is covered with mucus. That mucus catches dirt, debris, bacteria, viruses, things that could infect and obstruct the lungs. Also, the mucus and mucosa are warm because they have very superficial blood vessels, and this serves to warm the air as it passes through the nasal cavity on its way to the lungs. Notice that we have these protrusions called nasal conche, superior, middle, and inferior nasal conche, and their function is to cause turbulent flow of air as it moves through the nasal cavity. Basically, we want that air to bump up against the mucosa as much as possible in order to warm that air and to clear that air of dirt, debris, and possible infectious microorganisms as it passes through the nasal cavity. I also want to point out that we have two sinuses that are visible from this figure. We have the frontal sinus, which is found in the frontal bone and the sphenoid sinus, which is found in the sphenoid bone. This concludes our summary of the nasal cavity. Next, use pictures in your book and lab manual to label, label structures on an image of the nasal cavity, then complete a similar exercise using a model you will see in lab.